Hey gang, this is Troy and welcome back to Restaurant Rewind. I just dug this little gem out of my collection and I wanted to share it with you. You've probably seen these, they're not exactly rare, but they're really cool indeed. This one's made by Snow Village and it makes a great Christmas ornament. I didn't put it out this past Christmas, but I was thinking about it and I decided to dig it out. And once I got my eyes on it again, I started to think about the architecture and how important architecture was to the early chains back in the 50s, 60s, 70s. And it made me think about today's buildings and some of the chains like McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, Arby's, and how the buildings really all kind of look the same. And so I started thinking, is architecture just not as important today as it once was? I mean, we do have all sorts of different types of advertising that we didn't have back in the day, uh, namely the internet and uh, all kinds of digital media. But I would think that the architecture of a building would still be important to capture your attention as you're driving by. After all, location is still important. But I can remember a time of being a seven or eight year old kid and going by a building like this and just being enthralled by the, the shape and the dimensions and the neon, and especially at night, these things lit up like you wouldn't believe. And I can remember looking up at a near 30 foot tall sandy sign and being able to see the neon just popping and it just, it almost would take your breath away as a seven or eight year old kid. And, and I guess it just kind of stuck with me. And one of the reasons why I got into collecting restaurant memorabilia and just talking about the experience of, of some of these old chains is really not even so much to do with food, although the food, uh, in my opinion, is, is good. If it were just about the food, it probably wouldn't be nearly as enticing. And I suspect maybe some of you feel the same way. So what do you think? Why do chains, uh, McDonald's included, they don't seem to put as much emphasis on the, at least the exterior of their buildings. Now they, they clearly make the insides a lot more comfortable and the dining experience is still important, but it seems like the outside of the buildings are well, just kind of plain. There's really nothing that catches your attention. For example, a McDonald's or a Burger King or Wendy's could go out of business. Another restaurant could go in there. You would never know what the building used to be. To show how important this was, let's take a little quiz. See how many of these pictures you can immediately guess the chain that goes with it. So how'd you do? Back in the day, and we've talked about this in several videos, that architecture was critical to capturing someone's attention as they were driving by. When you look at uh, dog and suds that had the winged roof and canopy, you had uh, McDonald's, of course, with the huge golden arches. You had Sandy's with the huge wooden beams. You had uh, Burger Chef with the, its big kite shape with the wall of glass in the front. And so um, I just wonder what has changed today to make those things maybe less important. Maybe they are still important, but they're cer certainly not capturing my attention. So how about you? Does the architecture of some of these old buildings bring back some special memories for you? Leave me some comments and recap some stories. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And maybe if you think I'm off base, uh, I'd like to hear that too. If you think they're doing a great job of uh, advertising and maybe it's just something I've missed, I'd, I'd, I'd love to hear about it. Feel free to leave some comments below. I will definitely read every one. I can't reply to all of them, but I'll certainly read them. And, um, uh, 
I appreciate your support for this channel. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time on Restaurant Rewind.